Fold your fabric in half. On top of the fold, place the pattern. Outline everything with the piece of chalk and after, cut it off. And don't forget to put the marks for the straps. For this tutorial, you will need some stretchable fabric. I'm going to use a four-way stretch polyester, the Pico elastic, the elastic for the straps, the rings and the sliders, and my rings and sliders are 10 mm, the same as my elastic. The threads, which are matching your fabric and the elastic. The adjustable chain, or you can use a simple strap. Some needles to pin the fabric. The scissors. The lighter. The piece of chalk to outline the pattern. And the pattern you'll find the link in the description box below. On top of the front element, place the back element, face to face to each other. Pin them with the needles. Then grab the second layer of the front element and with the face down, place it on top. Repin everything together. In this place with the needles. Now go to your overlocker or sewing machine and sew here and here. By using a different fabric, you can achieve a different look of this pattern. If you use some transparent fabric, you can make a nice underwear. Or if you use some polyester fabric, then you can make a swimwear. When you finish to sew, it should look this way. Reverse the top on the right side. Cut off the threads. If you see some fabric is coming out, then grab the scissors and trim this place. Grab the Pico elastic and sew it on here and here. Place the elastic on top of the fabric face to face to each other. Elastic also has a right side 
and the wrong one. Basically, you need to place a right side to the right side. After, sew it here. When you sew, you don't stretch the fabric, you stretch a little bit only the elastic. Check the elastic everywhere, and if you see some fabric is coming out, then grab the scissors and trim this place, but make sure do not cut the elastic. Hold the elastic this way, and sew one more time here with the settings you can see on the screen. In this place here, keep the free space of the elastic. Now it's time to prepare the straps. And how to make these straps, you can find the link in the description box below. Turn the top on the opposite side and place the straps right side to the right side on top of the max. Pin it with the needle. Do the same with the other strap. Now grab the pico elastic again and sew it on here, here, everywhere around, up to this place. In this place here and here, keep the free space of the elastic, I'll say around 2-3 cm to sew on the straps later.
This is what I meant by saying keep the free space of the elastic. Now grab the strap and put the elastic of the top inside of the ring. Pin it with the needle. Here, fold the elastic this way and make a small loop. It should look this way. Go to your sewing machine and sew here, here, and here. When you start to sew, make sure that there is no any metal object like a ring under your needle. Cut off the leftover of the elastic. Burn the leftover of the threads and fluffiness of the elastic. Grab the chain for decoration and if you don't have the chain, then you can use a simple strap. The adjustable strap should look this way. 